Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to use a and the and when to use no article. So let's get started. Okay, first I want to begin by talking about using a and an. These are the indefinite articles that we use in English. Um, regarding pronunciation, you might hear people use a or a. Um, you can choose whichever you prefer. They're both correct. So we use the indefinite article, a or an, when we want to introduce a noun. So that means it's our first time using the noun, like when we're telling a story, for example. So the first time we introduce the noun, we use a or an to do that. So we use a if the following noun begins with a consonant sound, a consonant sound. Some examples of this, a cookie, this is a k, a consonant sound, a pen, this p is a consonant sound, and a fish, so this f is a consonant sound. So if the next word, if the following noun begins with a consonant sound, we should use the a uh, indefinite article. Then we use an when the following noun begins with a vowel sound. So some examples of this are an apple, so here we have a as our vowel sound, we use an, an apple, an egg, here the e sound, and then an hour. So here this is uh, a vowel sound. So this is a great example of this note that I want to mention. Sound does not equal spelling. So I said uh, when the following noun begins with a vowel sound, we use an. Here, yes, we have the consonant H beginning this word, but it makes a, a vowel sound, an hour, hour. So it's like the H doesn't make that H sound. So an hour. We use this indefinite article an instead of a. Uh. So please be careful. We're listening for a sound, not for the spelling in this case. Okay. Then, as you can see, we use the indefinite article before nouns in the singular form only. So, for example, you don't see S at the end of these words. We can only use the singular form, so meaning one of something. Only the singular form when you're using the indefinite article. So a very simple example sentence using uh, the indefinite article is, I got a dog. We might start a story with this. I got a dog. So dog is in the singular. I got one dog. This is a new dog. I'm introducing this dog to my conversation. <clears throat> so I use a to do that. Okay. Let's compare this now to the definite article. The is the definite article in English. So we use the to refer to a known or a specific noun. So this can be something that we directly explain or we just understand it from the context. So relating to this point, something that we understand from context or a specific noun, um, this can be when there's only one of something. So a great example of this is some countries. For example, uh, the United States of America or like the Republic of so-and-so. Those begin with the. So there's only one of that and we understand that. We use the in cases like that. It's in like the title. Okay. So we use the to talk about things we know about. So something that we heard earlier in a conversation or earlier in a story, for example, or when we know what the noun is. So we can use this before singular or plural forms of nouns. So here's an example. I got a dog, which we saw before. I got a dog. I bought a bed for the dog. Here I've used the because in this sentence, I mentioned this dog. The dog in this sentence is the dog I bought, or I got rather, in the first sentence. So I'm introducing it here. I got a dog. This is my introductory statement, kind of, my full sentence. Here's this new information, this new noun, I got a dog. 
in my next sentence, I want to mention this same dog. I use the to describe that. I bought a bed for the dog. You'll also notice here I've introduced another new thing. I bought a bed for the dog. So I've used the indefinite article here. This is another new thing. But I want to refer to the same known noun that I introduced in the previous sentence. Okay, so this is an introduction to using the definite article. Now, let's look at when to use no article. So no a, uh, no an, no the. We use no article when referring generally to a group or all instances, like all kinds or all types of something. We use this a lot when we're talking about things we like or dislike, for example. So we use the plural form of the noun. We do not use the singular form. We need to use the plural form. A very simple example of this is, I like dogs. I like dogs. So you'll see here, I've used the plural form, dogs. So by saying I like dogs, it means I like all instances of that. I like all examples of dogs, all different kinds of dogs. I like dogs. Okay, so let's continue on then to a short story example that I prepared. So uh, this example includes uses of the indefinite article, the definite article, um, and cases where we'll see no article. There are a couple points I want to talk about. So let's take a look. Last weekend, I took a bus to a park near my neighborhood. I walked around the park, then I found a place to sit down and relax. I read a book, took photos, and enjoyed watching the people at the park but I got bit by a bug. I hate mosquitoes. So this is a very simple story about something that happened recently. This is a past tense story. It features um, indefinite, definite articles and no article. So let's take a look. Last weekend, I took a bus. So I'm introducing a bus. This is the first case where I'm explaining a bus in my story. So I took a bus to a park near my neighborhood. So a park near my neighborhood. This means there could be other parks near the neighborhood. I want to talk about one in particular to a park in my neighborhood. I walked around the park. So here I use the to refer to this park I introduced earlier in my story. I walked around the park, this park I talked about before. Then found a place to sit down and relax. So my next step was to find a place. So I'm using a here because uh, the place is just any place. I just chose one specific place to sit down and relax. This could be any place. I want to talk about just one in particular. Okay, then I said I read a book. So again, I'm using a here to introduce this. So I have not talked about the book before. Uh, I want to introduce my book to the story. I read a book, took photos. So here there's nothing, you'll notice. I took a photo. I could say I took a photo if I took one photo, but maybe if I took a lot of photos, I would say I took photos. I took photos. And I enjoyed watching the people at the park. So this the, I think is pretty clear, at the park. So I'm talking about the specific park I visited. This one, however, I've included in parentheses, watching the people at the park. Why did I do this? So there are some cases where it's correct to use the and it's correct to use no article. This is one example of that. Here, enjoyed watching the people in the park and enjoyed watching people in the park. Those are both correct sentences, actually. There's not really a difference in meaning here because I've included a location here. Like if I said, I enjoyed watching the people, I might be confused as the listener. Like which people, who were you watching? So saying watching people at the park makes it clear that it's only about people who were at the park. If I want to be extra specific and give extra emphasis, I can include the here, watching the people 
in the park. Like This is the thing I was focusing my attention on in the park. So you can choose to include it, you can choose not to include it. They communicate the same thing. But this is one example of a situation um, where you could, use, uh, you could use the article or you could choose not to. Okay, then our last sentence, but I got bit by a bug. A bug. So again, new thing. Something new is in my story. A bug in this case, by one bug. Then I finish with this expression. I hate mosquitoes. So mosquitoes are those small bugs that bite you and it gets really itchy. A mosquito. But I'm making a general statement. All oh, mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. Maybe because they bite. So I use the plural form. I hate mosquitoes with no article. I hate mosquitoes. So this is a simple example of a situation uh, or a story where you would use definite, indefinite, and no article to explain something that happened to you. So I hope that this lesson gives you a good introduction to how and when to use a uh, and, and the and no article. But if you have any questions or comments, or if you want to practice making a story in the comment section, please feel free to do so. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you have not already, and check us out at EnglishClass101.com for some other things that can help you with your English studies. Thanks very much for watching this lesson, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.